Well, hello, artists. Welcome. Let's get right into drawing some cards and see where our imagination takes us once we get a little inspiration. So our small subject today is going to be a, oops, let's see, butterfly or moth. Something small with two wings. It sounds fun. Medium subject. Let's go with a raccoon. Ah. A large subject here of, let's go off the, near the top somewhere. Triceratops, that sounds interesting. And the detail, don't worry about the cards we're gonna put up here on the side so you don't have to, uh, so you can follow along and draw at your own pace if you wanna pause it. Uh, let's go with this, detail, spotted. That sounds interesting. And again, these are my bonuses, the habitat. So the habitat's kinda of where this thing's gonna live. I don't usually draw the habitats, but you can if you want. If you're feeling extra, extra confident. Let's see here. This one, right there. And it says, school or playground. Butterfly, raccoon, triceratops that's spotted. If you want to add in a playground, do that. Let's get started, here we go. So. I was eating breakfast this morning. This is not a promo for any kind of cereal, but I had cereal, play insert video, and I got inspired. I was like, oh, the insides of those boxes, I like those, I'm gonna draw on them. Always ask for an adult's help. If you can get the inside of a box like this, this is what we're gonna draw on today. It's perfect, nice and heavy, weighty. You can't trace through it, you can't see through it, obviously, but they make awesome things. So I'm gonna show you what those look like. I'm gonna use color pencils. Color pencils and this really go well together. You can use ink if you want, and sometimes they, uh, sometimes it, it, well, it doesn't go through, but sometimes it kind of sinks in and makes it a little grayer, a little different than your normal stuff. If you use white, it bounces off really uh, bright, and so it's a different look. This is a little more muted look, but the color pencils, if you get like a wax-based color pencil, these pages or cardboard stock is really good to use. So, I'm gonna show you how it looks. So after the preliminary sketch and on the box, I went ahead and started taking the parts that I liked. The wings, the tongue, the eyes, three horns, playground of course. And then with the ink, basically I'm working the edges, trying to give myself something to color in and uh, make sure I get that little cute, cute raccoon tail. Here it comes. Oh, how cute. The dots on the butterfly wings. A few of them are concentric went all over the whiskers from that raccoon, six little legs, and then the playground, of course. Whoops. So on the color, I like to do a base coat, kind of uh, lightly messy all over the whole art. And then I know I'm gonna come back and as you add colors, it kind of blends itself in. And you can also use white or blending sticks to you know blend the actual colors smoothly if you want that. But as you add the dark and contrasting colors and stuff, it, it really makes the uh, whole thing take shape. I actually like the later versions of color pencil because that's when it starts to really pull together. And then white pushes the highest highs and the lowest lows and really gives it the most shape and makes it look like it could be more than just a creature in an impossible kingdom. That's about all I'm gonna draw on my butterfly, raccoon, triceratops with spots on a playground. I hope you had fun, open your imagination, see what comes out, and we'll see you next time. Have fun.